Hello everyone. Welcome back and thank you for joining me. <laughs> I'm uh, I'm on a roller coaster this week. I've had a really and when I say roller coaster, <laughs> it is yeah, that's a roller coaster. I uh, got my hair done this week. I was growing it because I could grow it. It was amazing the fact that I like actually could grow hair. Uh, and I was celebrating that. And so this is the first cut in, I don't know, two years, I don't know, something. Uh, but I wanted to go get my hair done and I got my nails done. There's some like self care and some normal things. The world is, uh, I don't i don't know about where you guys are, but in Chicago, um, we, we're uh, majority va vaccinated. And so a lot of things are opening up and uh, it's just been one of those weeks where it's been 80 degrees and sunshiny and absolutely stunning, gorgeous. Um, and I, so I was out like riding my bike and uh, uh, different neighborhoods. I was out at the lakefront, uh, through the park systems. As a matter of fact, I'm sitting in a park right now. Look, my wife and I accidentally, uh, we accidentally bought a house that dead ends into this gorgeous park. I mean, this park has like five sections of wildflower garden pass and three baseball diamonds and uh, there's a community garden and it's just, it's absolutely amazing and lots of things for kids, I'm sure. Uh, <laughs> but it's so, it's so awesome. It's such an amazing resource. And, uh, and, the, and, and like these parks were full this weekend, it just people picnicking and games and, and, uh, God, there was like waits for restaurants and it just felt so, felt so hopeful and so awesome and uh, uh, and I also um, I said goodbye to a friend this week uh, my friend Alan died of um, stage 4 lung cancer she was in my cancer support group so I knew her very well um, and so this is what I'm talking about with the roller coaster because uh, um, I'm very sad uh, to say goodbye to my friend Ellen, but I'm very, very happy she's gone. And uh, before anyone lays judgment upon that, uh, if you have never been the caretaker for, or if you have not experienced a chronic disease and please don't lay judgment upon that because the reason I'm happy she's gone is she was in pain and uh, she had no quality of life for two years. Um, she was the great aunt that everyone forgot about, you know, so she didn't really have family around her and uh, she was very introverted and shy and she battled um, depression in life. And so she didn't have, she didn't have a friend group that uh, she didn't have people popping by and you had cancer uh, on top of COVID and she, um, she was alone. She was suffering and she was alone. And that just sucks. Uh, you know, when I, um, when I struggle, uh, physically when I when like this park I know every inch of this park because I have used it over the last couple of years for my movement take one more step go one more length go one more whatever uh, so this park has been amazing and Ellen was a big walker and she couldn't uh, walk um, she was bed bound or wheelchair bound um, so every time I would, uh, I would go for a walk, uh, um, I would FaceTime her and so that she could see around, or I would use the mantra, <sighs> friends, uh, my friend Marilyn has emphysema and is bed bound. Uh, my father, 
uh, is bed bound. Um, and these are, were all very active people um, who used movement for resourcing. My friend Marilyn taught me the joy and the therapy of uh, gardening. So I will say, I walk for you, Marilyn. I walk for you, Ellen. Uh, and it, because I because I know they can't and so I do that for them and when I get tired or I tell myself I don't have the energy or, uh, or I'm just lazy or I'm bored and I want to go home I tell myself I walk for you uh, Alan I ride my bike for you Alan because you can't and um, so today I'm sitting in this park listening to the birds, looking at all the different color greens. My favorite color is green. <sighs> because I can. It's raining and I'm not going home because I think the rain is gorgeous and <sighs> because I can. Lots of highs and lows this week, but the one, uh, the thing uh, that I'm focusing on uh, is honoring uh, Ellen in her peace. I'm so happy she's in peace by continuing to explore and enjoy every fucking minute. She, <laughs> she loved. Uh, she loved my sharing of, uh, of my adventures um, because she lived vicariously uh, through me a lot. Don't put off till tomorrow what you can do today. See, the thing is, is, is I am so in awe of the beauty around me right now because, because I can. <laughs> Cause I'm also sitting here thinking like, thank God it wasn't me, right? And again, before anyone lays judgment upon that, I think it's fucking natural <laughs> and awful. To think, oh my God. <laughs> Damn you, Ellen. Now I'm the last one standing. I'm the last stage four in my cancer support group because we've said goodbye to everyone else. So today, folks, if you can, do it. And take one extra step or take a moment when you're enjoying the flowers or a beautiful view or the breeze on your face and say, I enjoy this moment for you, Ellen. That's all. Make sure we're enjoying every minute of every day. I am going to sit in this park and listen to birds. A little music on. And breathe. For you, Ellen. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for the support. Thank you so much for the support. People always say it's... Uh, brave what you do, Nicole, 
sharing your authentic self. <laughs> For those of the, you that know me, you know that it's true because I, it is brave. It's very brave. This isn't me normally. But I do it because no one should go through cancer alone. No one should go through cancer alone. <laughs> dog has found a squirrel to entertain herself. <laughs> Take care of yourself folks today. Check in on your friends. Got to take care of each other.